Good afternoon, YouTube community. It's your boy, Ghost84. Just want to do another episode of Pack Wars. We're going to be doing left side versus right side. Each side is going to be receiving nine packs from the newest set, Modern Horizons 3. This is the bundle gift edition where it comes with one collector pack. And then we have just a normal bundle with nine boosters from Modern Horizons 3. Let's go ahead and crack into it. Awesome. So you get like a little poster type thing. The planeswalkers. Here's what your box looks like. Pretty sweet. So, let's go ahead and do nine packs on the right side for our bundle. I'm just going to write gift edition and then bundle. Right side again is going to be the bundle. Sweet. So, this is going to be our dice. Pretty cool. This is the one from the pre-release. Looks like the bundle one's just a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and set that guy up there now. Also within the bundle we have, little tokens. Pretty cool. And then we have lands. Maybe we can crack into those a little bit later. It's like a little rare card in there. Okay, now for our gift bundle. Again, same thing, nine packs. Except this time we get a collector booster pack. Within the collector booster pack, you're able to get... Oh man, this kind of sucks. It's got crinkled up inside. It's pretty sweet. Um, this one I ordered offline from Canada. It's probably going to be the last time that I order something like that. Only because it took quite a bit to get here. Price dropped pretty dramatically by the time I got here. Could have saved like 25 bucks. And then I was just thinking about how much abuse it may get just to get here in the mail. Again, same thing. Got the little land packs. Pretty excited. Love the Eldrazi. Kind of see one through the paper. This is our collector booster. Same thing, we're gonna get some tokens. All right, here is your dice. This one looks pretty cool too. Just sweet glitter inside. So let's go ahead and crack into it. I would say let's do the bundle edition first, and then we'll end with the uh, gift bundle. Pretty straightforward. We're just kind of 
seeing which card, or rather, which packs have the hits. I did play this on pre-release night. I won one match out of three matches. I ended up leaving a little early. But it was definitely fun. Glimpse the impossible. Unfathomable truce. Looks like a bunch of commons first. Then we start getting into our lands. All right, uncommons. Emrakul's Messenger, that looks pretty cool. Vexine, Bobble. You know, I'll try and do some shorts to show pricing of these cards. Blair Denival, Denial, looks pretty cool. And our Hollow is a uncommon, Strength of the Harvest. So nothing too crazy. I think that artifact is worth a little bit of money. The art definitely looks awesome in this set. Super happy for it. Expanding ooze. Gargantua. Blast, that's pretty cool. Counter target multicolored spell. Destroy target multicolored permanent. Only for one colorless dang. Oh, there we go. So they call this a fetch land. Wooded foothills. Tap, pay one life, sacrifice wooded foothills, search your library for a mountain or for forest card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And our holographic is another uncommon. It's gonna be the mere folk wizard. And our token is gonna be a golem. Pretty neat. Definitely want to penny sleeve this wooded foothills. We'll get a little top loader for it. I guess I'm not too worried about the top loader. Yep. All right. It's definitely right down. Point for that guy. Pack three. Looks like we got like a little art token or art card in the back. No way, Emerald Medallion, there we go. All right, green spells you cast cost one la one less to, ca to cast. Wow. Wow, that looks freaking awesome. Okay, we'll definitely make sure we get a point for right side. And then good old Storm Drake. There's an Aldrazi token, or rather an Aldrazi foil. That's pretty cool. planes and then here again is one of those little art cards pretty cool let me just sleeve up that emerald medallion That guy a spot and a point as well. Let's 
All right, pack four. They definitely got some pretty cool Aldrazi in here. They're actually some of the more expensive ones. We got Ulamog. Got Kozilek. Wow, that's a pretty sweet card. There's uh, three in total. Three Titans, they've been calling them. There we go. That's cool. Hey, I was playing this one on pre-release and it was working pretty good for me. A Jurassic Drone. Foreboding Landscape. Looks pretty neat. Etched Slip. Titans Vanguard. Another Aldrazi. Witch Enchanter. Alright, next one should be our rare. Oh, no way! Extended Art. Ocelot Pride. Holy crap. Dude, this looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Let's go, baby. Holy crap. Wow, the art on this is so killer. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, foil's gonna be a little uncommon again. Definitely make sure that we get this guy sleeved up in a top loader. Man, what a great hit. Right side, swinging for the fences. All right, so for one mana, it has first strike and lifelink. Ascend at the beginning of your end step. If you gain life this turn, create a 1 1 white cat creature token. Then, if you have the city's blessing for each token you control that entered the battlefield this turn, create a token that's a copy of that. Wow. For one mana. That's awesome. Maybe we'll get these guys to switch spots. Wow. All right. I don't know. Let's if left side can pull it off. It's pretty cool. Right, this is pack five. Hex gold slithing in. Banged flames. Aether spike. Zombie right looks crazy. <laughs> wow. Lion's Umbra, that's a really good card too. There we go. Love some good multicolored. Oh, wow. No way. Yoti. Wow. Oh, my gosh, man. What a killer bundle, dude. All right. So, we can use this in our commander decks. Wow. I didn't think we can get a mythic rare in front of the uncommons. Dude. Too cool. I forgot to put a point down for that ocelot cat. And we still got a couple cards left here. Shrieking Drake. Oh, wow. Guide of Souls. That looks awesome. Imagine that card looks pretty sweet. And a holographic. Jeez, oh, that's pretty sweet. Revitalizing, repast. It's an instant for just one mana. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Holy crap. Got like a weird bow to it, I feel like, too. Oh, wow, that's because it's foiled on the back. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Mm 
Alright, this is gonna be pack six. Looks like we got another one of those little art cards. Starting off strong with an Eldrazi. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Put a flying counter on it and then scry one. Scry just means that you can look at the top card of your library. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wumpus variation. A drazzy beast. Furnace Hellkite. It's good to see him back. Some sweet art. Wow, Decree of Justice. Create a X44 White Angel. Creature tokens with flying. A cycle. Jeez oh. Alright, there we go. Strix Serenade. Counter target artifact creature or planeswalker spell. This controller creates a 2 2 blue bird creature token with flying. Not bad for one mana. Definitely have to give right side a point for that. Oh, sweet. Holographic foil. Sauron. Or Sorin. <laughs> Alright, third from the table. Temperamental. Temperamental ooze wag. Alright. That looks pretty wild. Deceptive landscape. Aldrazi snake. Reiterating bolt. Gonna be our rare card. White of Reliquary. It's nothing too crazy. Alright, second to last pack of magic. Come on, baby. Let's see now Drazzy Titan. Ulamog, Kazalak. Come on. Faithful Watchdog to start off the pack. We got a sweet Hydra. It's only a common. That's awesome. Altrazi Turtle. Wow. That looks freaking crazy. Null Elemental Blast. Again, awesome card. Sabine's Reclamation. Oh, no way, man. Get out of here, Ajani. In the Ajani bundle pack or box. Wow. Two mana. Whenever one or more. Other cats you control die. You may exile Ajani. Then return him under to the battlefield. Transform under the owner's control. Wow. Dude. Heck yeah, man. For two. 
put a plus one plus one counter on each cat you control holy crap yeah that's freaking awesome definitely have to get two points for right side for that dang dude i didn't think i was going to be able to pull a, a planeswalker dang killer All right, last pack magic. Oh, shoot. All right. Foil card was the Glyph Elemental Planes. Oh, cool, man. All right, so there's different versions of these art cards. There's the non-gold foil and then the gold signature foil. Wow. Gris the Plague Swarm by Chris Ron. That looks awesome. Me, personally, I'm glad that they put that in there. I imagine everybody probably has a million tokens, so definitely pretty sweet. Definitely shows off the artist work a little bit better. All right, this is it. Last pack of magic. Foul strike. <clears throat> Wing it. Got another faithful watchdog. Seeding landscape looks really nice. Contaminated landscape. Starting to our uncommons. Arcbound condor. Cards are kind of sticking together. Another Null Elemental Blast. That's awesome. Reef Worm. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. So, Windswept Heath. Another fetch land. I can tap this, pay one life, sacrifice, search your library. Or a forest or plains card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Too cool. Last card, Twisted Landscape and a Hollow. Another holographic planes. Angel token. Go ahead and sleeve this little bad boy up. We'll get right side one more point. to left side see if this gift bundle is any different maybe they put more hits into this maybe they don't got another art card looks like there's 54 in total cat dragon that's pretty neat Viper, that's always a good card. Kind of like how they did that border, that looks pretty cool. This is like the retro framing. What oh, feels like the retro framing. All right, so our rare is Orem's Chant. Chant. Huh, weird. So we got back-to-back -back rares. It's not holographic, weird. And our holographic, or yeah, holographic is just a little common card. Let's go ahead and get left side a point. Wow, that looks awesome. Got the Eldrazi hanging out in the background. Yeah, let's get left side a point for those double rares. All 
Alrighty, starting off strong. All right, second pack. Quality control on these cards look really nice too. Like I don't see. I guess we'll find out on this one because this is the one that came from Canada. The edges do look nice and sharp. Beginning of your pre combat main phase, mill three cards. Then you may pay one life, or you may pay one energy and three life. If you do, put that card among those cards into your hand. Put a card from among those cards into your hand. That's pretty sweet. Awesome. Pack three. Dog Umbra. Smelted Charge Bug. Serum Visionary. Aldrazi Repurposer. Man, those look so awesome. Dang, Grave Dig. Two mana. Sorcery, choose one. Target player creates a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Or return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Holy crap. And then I can do entwine for two more mana. Choose both if you pay the entwine cost. Holy crap. That's awesome. I did pick up two Eldrazi commander, or I'm sorry, two Modern Horizons 3 commander decks. I picked up the Eldrazi one, and then I picked up the Graveyard something. But I got some sleeves coming in the mail. We'll get those all sleeved up, and then we'll show you the what they look like. It's another one of those sweet flip lands. Rare. Kudo! King Among Bears. Other creatures have base and toughness 2-2 two, two, and are bears in addition to their other types. That's pretty sweet. Dang. Crap. Let's go ahead and get a Kudo uh, point for that. We'll get a card to look at the left side, finally. Last couple cards in the pack were the holographic, uncommon, and that looks crazy. Oh, nice holographic, full art, land, and then zombie army. I think I maybe just gave left by an extra point on accident. Hopefully there's a cool hit in this one to make up for it.
hit that heralds the end. Colorless spells you cast with mana value 7 or greater cost 1 less to cast. Otherless, other colorless creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. That's awesome. Wow. flip card again if you need mana use this side if you don't need mana you play the other side I think that's pretty neat flare of fortitude heck yeah man you may sacrifice a non-token white creature rather than pay this spells mana cost until end of turn your life total can't be changed or can't change and permanents you control gain hexproof and indestructible. Holy crap, dude. What a crazy card. Let's definitely make sure we get a point. Or I guess we already got him a point. Definitely need to sleeve that up. All right, this is going to be pack number five. With four more to go, and then we still got that collector's booster. New set did just come out. I guess it was last week. And it was Assassin's Creed. And uh, I did pick up two packs of that, so I'll do a pack war video of that. Deep analysis. Holy crap, that looks awesome. It's Nico Bolas. Oh my gosh, no way, Flage. Titan of Fire's Fury. Legendary creature, Elder Giant. Get out of here, left side. Holy crap, they might have just won this. Holy crap, this is an awesome card. Whenever it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it, unless it escaped. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. Escape. Exile five other cards from your graveyard. Dang, dude. Holy crap. This is awesome. Okay. I may need to build a deck around this guy. And the art looks freaking intense. Oh, this grave dig. That's a holographic. And then we got a little germ. Go ahead and get two points for left side. Again, this is a nice mythic rare card. Wow. Get this bad boy at top loader as well. Get him a spot next to the war monk. All right. Okay, so fourth from the bottom. Looks like another art card on the back. There's a rhino. Sweet. Corrupted Shapeshifter. Dang, looks wicked. Expanding ooze, holy crap, looks so cool. There we go, Rawl, and the Implicit Maze. 
as a saga enters and after you draw and after your draw step add a lore counter sacrifice after three all right Human cleric. Cards are kind of sticking. No way. Jet medallion. Black spells you cast cost one less to cast. And it's the extended art. Holy crap, this looks awesome. Wow. Jeez, oh, no way, man. Left side is killing it. I set this off so I can sleeve and. Get out of here! Oh my gosh! What a great pack! Neither Goyf. Oh my gosh, dude. It's only one mana to cast. Its power is equal to the number of card types among cards in your graveyard. And its toughness is equal to that number plus one. What the heck kind of pack is this? Left side, let's go! Holy crap! I'm glad this, I'm glad this holographic was nothing too crazy because I, I would have probably lost it. Another full art land, the sweet Eldrazi in the background. Nice. Got another full art card. Give me a second to sleeve and top load these two bad boys up. Let's go ahead and get a point, two points for the Jet Medallion and the Neither Goyf. Dude! Wow. I uh, definitely think that right side is in trouble. I'll show you this jet medallion one more time before I put in a top load. Dang. Killer. <laughs> Freaking awesome looking. All right, so there's three packs left for the left side, and we only need to score at least one more time to tie. All right, third from the bottom. What a nice pack, man. Crazy looking art. Warped Tusker. Jeez, over seven colorless. Yeah, wow, seven mana. Six, eight. Twisted Landscape. Here we go. Bespoke Battle Wagon. I guess all your little battle wagons have the little fancy side art. Trickster's Elk. That looks pretty cool. Pinnacle Monk. This is again going to be one of those cards that has the flip. Wow. Get out of here. Monstrous Vortex. Whenever you cast a creature spell with five, or I'm sorry, with power five or greater. Discover X, where X is that spell's mana value. Crap, that's awesome. Party Thrasher. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't... Or rather, I definitely didn't remember seeing this card in a couple of videos that I've seen of this product being opened. Nothing too crazy. Second to last pack magic, baby. Let's go. Come on. Hopefully we can pull a Eldrazi Titan. Got another art card in the back. Starting off with Dross Claw. Got the charm. 
little cat dragon is pretty cool. Gift of the Viper, Conduit, Goblin. I did a pretty good job on pre-release night with that card too. Blood Soaked Insight for seven mana. So if you got the mana, play it. If not, use it as a swamp or a mountain. The Necro Bloom. It's pretty cool. Holographic Spawn Gang Commander. All right, there we go. That's gonna tie the game right there. Full art, holographic land. Yeah, that's right. Kazlek in the background. And then that's gonna be our little art card. I get left side a point. All right, so right now we're tied up. Let's see if left side can pull it off or if it's gonna be our first tied game. All right, last pack magic. Let's do this, baby. Can left side pull it off? I can get a point here to win the game. Grave, not, grave dig's not gonna get it done. Foreboding landscape. Cyclops superconductor. Reiterating bolt. Come on. All right, so this next one should be our rare. <laughs> Psych. All right, this one should definitely be our rare. 109. Okay, heck yeah. Let's see what it does. For five mana, it has flying, it's a six, six. Sacrifice another creature, create a blood token. If you sacrifice an angel this way, create a number of blood tokens equal to its toughness instead. For three mana, sacrifice six blood tokens. Return each creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. These creatures, or those creatures, are vampires and additions to their other types. Holy crap. Okay, never mind. I think left side just won it right there. Oh, no way. No way. Springheart Nantuko. Dude, this. Wow. This is a really good card. So for two mana, it has bestow. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. And then landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay two mana. If Springheart is attached to a creature you control if you do create a token that's a copy of that creature if you didn't create a token this way create a one one green insect creature token yeah left side just killed it right here holy crap wow the crockin that looks awesome all right, left side. Way to pull through at the last second. Got that Sire of Famine. Elder Demon. And then Nantuko. Give me a second to put this away and then we'll crack that collector booster. But then that collector booster, we do have a chance to pull a serialized card. I think they're numbered at 250. It's gonna be of the three Eldrazi Titans. But there's 15 cards per pack. Giant roller mark all over this. All right. So if you find these, 
And its stores are typically anywhere from $40 to $50. Try and salvage the pack as best as I can. Okay, so the majority of all these cards are going to be foiled. Again, like I mentioned, there is going to be a chance for a serialized card. I think the chances of it is like 0 0.0017. So it's least likely to ever happen. And these actually kind of feel like they got a bow to it. Thriving Skyclaw. Dog Umbra. Wow. That looks good. Okay, Aldrazi Ravenger. Dang, that looks awesome. Got Distinguished Conjurer. And then this down here just tells you what set it actually came from. The old school set. Revitalizing Repast. Old growth, growth, grove. Got a full art land with a awesome Eldrazi in the background. All right, so this is definitely that retro framing. Nesting grounds, pretty sweet. So this is our retro frame foil now. Monumental Hinge. Okay. Conversion Apparatus. Nice. Roshin. Roaring Prophet. Dang, that looks awesome. <laughs> wow. Whenever it enters a battlefield, mill six cards. You may put a card with X in its mana cost from among them into your hand. Reveal any number of cards with X in their mana cost in your hand. Add two colorless for each card revealed this way. Spin this mana only on costs that contain X. Dang. Wow. Pretty cool. No way, Phyrexian, Phyrexian Tower, Legendary Land. Tap it for one colorless, tap it again. Sacrifice a creature, add two swamp. Holy crap, Extended Art, Phyrexian Tower. Get out of here, dude. I'm pretty sure that's up good if I'm not mistaken. I'll make sure I put the little total up there whenever I do a short. Holy crap. No way! Ulamog the Defiler! Mythic Rare! Oh my gosh, it's etched foil. Legendary creature Eldrazi. No way. When you cast this spell, target opponent exiles half their library. Round it up. Ward. Sacrifice two permanents. Ulamog the Defiler enters a battlefield a, with a number of plus one plus one counters on it, equal to the greatest mana greatest mana value among cards in exile. Ulamog has Annihilator X, where X is the number of plus one plus one counters on it. Oh my gosh, dude! Holy crap! This is like one of the best cards you can get. Get out of here! What a sweet collector. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. All right, let me penny sleeve this up with the Phyrexian Tower. Oh my gosh. Dude, you, you could not ask for a better. Well, I guess you could get it like a serialized number, whatever. But uh, dang, dude. Ulamog the Defiler. Holy crap. And then let's not forget. Phyrexian Tower, 
Wow. Dude, this extended art looks killer. Wow. Way too cool. I do appreciate everyone sticking around. Um, we're getting close to that 100 subscribers, so if you like this type of content, like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate everybody hanging out. You guys have a great day. Later.